color labels seem like a remarkably simple way to identify specific images. We just assign a color to an image, for example. The only catch that might seem obvious is that a color label doesn't have any inherent meaning. We essentially can choose what we want individual color labels to mean. Historically, those color labels have typically related to priority. Red is most important, yellow is a little less important, and all the way down at purple, the image is perhaps not that important for whatever reason. But many photographers have defined their own system related to color labels. For example, in this case, I have a yellow color label assigned to an image, and perhaps that just simply means it's a photo that I want to share with someone for whatever purpose. The point is that I can assign a color label to an image, and it's up to me to decide what that color label means. But actually, when I assign a color label to an image, I'm not really applying a color. Rather, I'm applying a word. And one of the challenges related to color labels is that different applications use different words to signify a particular color. In the case of Lightroom, a yellow color label will cause the word yellow to be added to metadata for that color label. That makes perfect sense, of course. But other applications might use different terminology. And in fact, Adobe Bridge is one of those applications that has default settings that are different from Lightroom. And what that really means is that if you've assigned color labels in Adobe Bridge, for example, and then import those images into Lightroom, the color labels won't match. In other words, Lightroom will have a different interpretation by default of what the words in metadata mean when it comes to color labels. So, for example, in this case, if I set my filter to show me only the yellow labeled images, then you'll see that I have one image with a yellow color label. But in addition to red, yellow, green, blue, and purple, there are two additional options for filtering my images. I can see all images with no color label, for example, in other words, unlabeled. But I can also choose white. And what white really means is custom label. Well, really that's just a euphemism for the word in metadata associated with the color label doesn't match any of the words on Lightroom's list defining what those color labels mean. Let's take a closer look. I'll go ahead and turn off the filter here. And then up on my library filter, I'm going to choose the metadata option and I'll set one of my columns to reflect label. In other words, color label. And sure enough, you can see that yellow color label is available on the list. I also have eight images that do not have any label assigned to them. But two of my images have a label of select. How did these two images get that word associated with a color label? Well, that's because these color labels were assigned using Adobe Bridge. So now I have a mismatch. Some of my images have color labels that were defined based on Adobe Bridge and some have color labels that were defined based on Lightroom. If I had a simple situation where I had been using Adobe Bridge in the past, I could just change Lightroom to use Adobe Bridge's definition of color labels. But here I've got a mismatch. First, let's take a look at our options here. I'll go to the menu bar, and under Metadata, I can choose Color Label Set, and you'll notice that I have Bridge Default or Lightroom Default. I can also choose Edit to bring up a dialog with the various color labels defined, and I can switch between the various presets. So here, for example, you can see Bridge Default versus Lightroom Default. And this defines what color will appear based on certain words in metadata. So the image that had a yellow color label assigned by Lightroom will have the word yellow in metadata for that color label. And the images that had the select word assigned are actually red color labels from Adobe Bridge. So the first thing I need to do is understand what these labels mean. So specifically, I have the word select associated with the red color label. So I can make a note of these values, for example, or just make a list of all of the words that are matched with specific color labels and figure out what those colors should actually be. So in this case, I know that the word select should be associated with the red color label. In this example, I only have one mismatch, so this is going to be pretty easy. Of course, if you used a variety of different applications and a variety of different definitions for color labels, this could be a little bit more problematic. But let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. I'll make sure to change my settings back to Lightroom Default, 
and then I'll go ahead and click the change button. Of course, in this case, I could have also clicked cancel since that's the same setting I had used initially. And because I'm now back to the Lightroom definition of color labels, you'll notice that the images no longer present a color. I don't see a red border around them, for example. But now I know what that color label should be. In this case, the word select was defined as red in Adobe Bridge, so I want to define these images as having a red color label in Lightroom. So the first step is to filter the images. So using the metadata section of the library filter and setting one of my columns to label, making sure that all the other columns are not filtering my images, I could make that change. But actually, I want to make sure that I'm applying those changes across my entire catalog. So I'm going to navigate to all photographs first. And then once again, making sure that all of the columns are set to all except for label. Under Label, I'll choose the particular value that I want to adjust. So in this case, I'm looking at the Select color label, and that relates to red. In Adobe Bridge, Select equaled red. In Lightroom, Select doesn't have a meaning at the moment, but I'm going to change these images to reflect that red color label. So I could choose Edit Select All from the menu, or simply press Control A on Windows or Command A on Macintosh in order to select all of the images, so now I have selected every single image in my catalog that had a red color label associated with it from Adobe Bridge. I want to change the color label value for these images now, so I'll go up to the menu bar and choose Photo, followed by Set Color Label, and then Red. That will change the color label definition for those images from the word Select to the word Red. And so now, if I go to the red label, you can see that there are those images with the updated color label. I've essentially just changed the word associated with the color label metadata value from select, which was Adobe Bridge's definition for red, to red, which is Lightroom's definition for a red color label. So you can see that things can get a little bit messy when we're working with different applications to update color labels for our photos, but fortunately, it's relatively easy to fix those issues in Lightroom.